Hey guys, Adam Retro Moments here and uh, welcome to Akamon in Nagoya which is um, pretty much Akihabara in Nagoya for uh, all of you who don't know or haven't seen this place before So in today's video we are going to check out Neo Geo What are the prices nowadays? What can be found? Is it really worth collecting? You know, because it's a system that is always increasing in price. And uh, yeah, we're going to start with the super potato. They should uh, probably have uh, most of the games. And then we're going to K House here. But uh, let's continue. Here it is. Super potato in Nagoya. And we are going to the second floor where all the Neo Geo stuff is. Alright, so here we are. So of course, there are a few games that are cheaper. You can get loose. Fatal Fury Special. For around 20 bucks. That's not bad. Considering it's still, you know, hard to find if you compare to other games for other systems. Samurai Spirits, under 20 bucks. And uh, yeah, one of the I would say cheaper shooters for the system, ASO 2 or uh, The Last Guardian. Actually, a pretty good game. Also has a two-player co-op, of course, since it's an arcade game. It's pretty good. A lot of power-ups and stuff like that, but with the uh, with what Neo Geo can handle, you know, it's I would expect more in the graphics department, to be honest. And uh, one of the fighting games that I always recommend, Samurai Showdown 3 or Samurai Spirits. And this is actually a game that is not so expensive compared to many other games. So this is one is about 150 bucks. And uh, definitely the, the best Samurai Shodan. It's a bit darker. And uh, yeah, I really like it. And uh, we have, of course, here Thrash Rally. Really good uh, arcade racing game, Top View. Going for 200 US dollars. And uh, a really fun beat em up, Mutation Nation. Going for 54,000 yen, so about uh, 500 US dollars. And uh, yeah, some sports games, 150 US dollars. And uh, let's see what else. NAM 1975, it's a game that a lot of people like. And uh, the very first game for the system actually. If you like wild guns and those sort of uh, gallery shooters, you would enjoy this one. And of course, the real bout games, which is uh, some of my favorite fighting games ever. So much fun. And uh, yeah, last played. If you love Samurai Shodan and haven't tried this, then you, you're definitely in for something. Man, it's, it's so good, and the graphics are oh, top notch. And uh, some uh, Neo Geo Pocket, of course. And uh, Neo Geo CD, which uh, is still uh, pretty low in price, ten bucks. And 
right under 10 bucks. Galaxy fight. Lots of speed in this fighter. You're almost flying. It's a pretty cool game. A lot of people don't like it. But I, I do actually. Top Hunter. It's a fun, uh, I would say, run and gun game. If you like Metal Slug, you should try this one out. It's great. Great graphics as well. And let's see, yeah. Last played for. Uh, for the near dear pocket, always expensive. About 100 bucks. Puzzle bubble, of course. And uh, metal slug for the near dear pocket. Actually, a really good game. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's still quite some uh, near dear AES games to get here. So that's that's cool. And if we turn around, we got some uh, some more of the hardware. You can still get the, the Neo Geo Mini, of course. But it's, uh, yeah, about 80 US dollars. And here we have uh, the second stick that was released. Neo Geo CD Controller Pro also works with uh, the AES, of course. It's about 70 bucks. Pretty good price, actually. And the Neo Geo CD we have behind there. 300, under, right under 300 US dollars. And the uh, disk drive was really s slow on, on this one, so they actually released uh, the CDC, as you see here. Which was uh, a s more slim model and uh, had a better speed. And then the AES, of course, which is the, the masterpiece here, complete in box. 482,000 yen, so about 450 US dollars. And uh, of course, they got some loose ones as well. 38,000. Fifty-two thousand yen and uh, forty-seven for just the console. Yeah, so about three hundred and fifty US dollars you can get a loose one for. And the OG CDs, of course, a little cheaper. Twenty-five thousand yen. And controllers down here. This is actually a good price for uh, for a loose stick. I mean, check out this one. You know, it's a little scruffy. Three thousand yen, so about thirty bucks for this one. It's definitely a good price. And then this one was released. If you've seen my uh, previous pickup video then you saw that I actually bought this one in Sweden and here you can get it for 60 bucks it's actually a pretty good stick but uh, yeah I don't know I actually prefer the original one now after trying them for trying them both for a while and the cream of the crop we are going for uh, the more expensive ones in the showcase first some loose ones here we got Rage of the Dragon which is a uh, Follow up to the Double Dragon game that was released for the new deal, but they had to rename it because of uh, copyright issues, I believe. Some new games here for the AES that was uh, that were released by Pixel Heart, I believe. Bangbusters and Neo Drift Out and Captain Tomate, all really good games actually. And we got Ninja Commando there. 250,000 yen. Dunk Dream, 87,000 yen. 87,000 yen. Sonic Wings 2. And uh, SNK versus Capcom. 184,000 yen. 
and uh, yeah, you can see the rest here and also of course they have uh, Garou, Mark of the Wolves going for 272,000 yen man, it just keeps going up, it's crazy I'm glad I got my coffee uh, in a trade actually so uh, yeah, that's what they have in here also Andrew Dune is there, 360,000 and uh, a Neo Geo controller there, about 60 bucks, that's actually a good price, I'll, pr I'll probably pick that up later actually. Neo Geo Pocket Color here, in a box, going for uh, right under 200 bucks. So yeah. That's it for Super Potato. So uh, let's go and check the prices at the next store, which is K House. So here we have K House. Which is a, a more authentic looking game store. I've been here before, so some of you might recognize it. I'm gonna be a li little bit more quiet in here since I'm the only one. Uh, let's see, I saw some. Neo Geo AS sticks down here the last time, but I guess they are sold out. So yeah, he uh, definitely sold a lot of games since the last time I was there. Just a few cards left and uh, a complete Art of Fighting 2, 4000. That's probably because it's right beside Super Potato and uh, he have better prices, you know, for the games. And now let's go to Meikoya. That is here. And of course, you can play Smash Bros. outside here on the streets. Pretty cool. So let's see. Should be right here. So uh, a complete Neo Geo AES. Going for 89,000 yen here, okay, and 79,000, so a bit cheaper than Super Potato. And there's also World Heroes 2 for 79 bucks, which is actually a pretty fair price for that game, I would say. And uh, we got a really scruffy looking King of Fighters 94, which uh, started this whole series. All right price for that and see here is uh, Art of Fighting 2 but they are selling it for 6,390 yen so K House cheaper yeah 4,000 in there Samurai Spirits number 2 which uh, a lot of people are really fond of and they keep as uh, their favorite Samurai Shodan game ever pretty good price and uh, Fatal Fury 2 in here 
Loose ones, 49,000. Neo Geo CD, 24. And uh, even the first one here, the first Neo Geo. Uh, the first Neo Geo CD was released called Front Loader, 19,000 yen. And a stick, original AES stick, not in the best shape, but 5,990 for that. So about 50 bucks, it's definitely worth it. It's a good deal, in my opinion. And they have uh, the Fighting Stick Neo in uh, in its box here for uh, about 150 US dollars. And of course, that's not it. They got the. A little bit more expensive here than Super Potato for some reason. Maybe in better condition. I'm sure they have their reason. Some of the more rare games then. Legend of uh, Success Yo. One of the worst games ever for uh, the system. So just skip that unless you love uh, bad beat em up boxing games. And uh, King of Monsters in there, and we also have uh, World Heroes 2 yet. And that's about it right here. And then there are also more games on the other side here. So let's see, we got Realbot Special. And uh, oh, that's, uh, that's interesting. That's Galaxy Fight, but uh, 42,000 yen. Seems a little high to me, I must be in really good condition then. Top players golf, real about Fatal Fury and uh, the red one there is uh, Fatal Fury 3. 18,000 yen. In my opinion that's also one of the games that I would go with if I, if I just bought a new Geo, you know. Uh, as well as uh, Samurai Showdown 3 here, or Samurai Spirits 3. I mean, those are two top games, in my opinion, and a bit cheaper, and you know, they're, the value is always rising for the Neo Geo, so. And we also have uh, Last Blade here, the first one, for 54,900 yen. Uh, King of Fighters 98, which uh, most people are saying is the best one, and I feel like that too, that they just got everything right with that one, I don't know what it is, it's the, the stages, the graphics, the, the combos, the music, yeah, and the controls especially. Very, very tight controls in, the, in that game. Love playing that one. But uh, yeah, that's it when it comes to the Neo Geo AS. So uh, let's go to the next. So uh, let's go to the next store, which is Mandarake. And uh, the interesting thing about Mandarake is that whenever they sell games, it's usually in perfect condition and it's usually titles that people actually want. So I, uh, I really appreciate that, going there and scrolling through the games, uh, because you don't see the common, common games, you know, that no one wants. They're not even there, so... Not sure what what they're doing with all those games that they have, but they're actually not in the not in the section at all. So let's see. Let's get a little look here. Mandarake. Here it is. Just like a minute away from Super Potato.
All right, so not that much in uh, Mandarake. So let's go to uh, the last stop, which is Surigaya. And uh, yeah, Surigaya is, you know, one of the better stores in my opinion. They got the selection and they also got the prices much cheaper than Super Potato and Meikoya. And Mandarake too, actually. So, uh, yeah, and here's Tairo Station, by the way, really close to all the stores. And the uh, other entrance for, for Tairo Station. And it's a little bit tricky to see, but here we have Surugaya Specialty Store. Surugaya Specialty Store. So here it is. Starting off with a showcase here. But uh, no Neo Geo stuff, but it's common. I promise. I was just here the other day, so. So here it all starts. I can see a complete Neo Geo, but it's not the AS. This is the Neo Geo X. As you can see here on the side, let's see, there we go, yeah, a little hard to see there, but it's, this is the Neo Geo X, which was released uh, just a few years ago, I believe in 2011 or 12, uh, which is a handheld device of the, that's supposed to mimic the AES, it's, uh, it's not that good, in my opinion, you should stay away from it, uh, but some people like it, but in my opinion, the quality is not, you know, good enough for what Neo Geo deserves. And uh, we got another CD pad here, which is great and of course works with all the systems. All the controllers works with all the systems, that's great. 7800 yen. And uh, a loose system, 45,000 yen. And uh, 48,000 yen for this one. And let's see if there's something more here. By the way, if you guys want to see some more of uh, of this store, just let me know in the comments if there are any other systems or or something you would like a video of. But here, here we have the glass case with the AES games. They have a Sonic Wings 3 for 125,000 yen. That's just to show us that they actually have it. And uh, here are the great Neo Geo AS games. So we have King of Fighters 99, which is also pretty good in my opinion. It's definitely the best looking King of Fighters game. And uh, yeah, 35,000. It's getting up there. When I was here the last time, about 3-4 years ago, it was going for around 20,000 yen I believe. So yeah, they're climbing fast in price. And we also have um, Double Dragon there. It's a bit hard to see now. There we go. Yeah, Double Dragon, 50,000 yen. Actually might buy that. It's a pretty good price for it. We'll see. It's a lot of money, so yeah. And Last Resort is a game that I want, but 79,000, I don't know. The, the European or the US version is actually cheaper of that game so we might buy that instead and uh, Kabuki Clash great anime fighter if you love the anime you would love this fighting game it's really good 52,000 yen 
and uh, here's another Samurai Showdown 3 or a Samurai Spirits 11,900 that's actually a really good price for that and uh, the same goes for uh, Fatal Fury 3 here 14,000 so as you can see much cheaper than Super Potato and uh, yeah also uh, Fighters History Dynamite there and uh, the first R fighting game and also Soccer Brawl which is a futuristic soccer game and let's see we also have uh, Twinkle Star Sprites here which is a phenomenal shooter versus shooter maybe you could call it going for 24,800 yen So yeah, let's go and check the regular section that is over here, some junk, junk section there. So uh, Fail of Fear Special, condition looks good. 6,000 a little bit more expensive than uh, Super Potato and 5,300 for Artifying 2 Another Fatal Fury 3 which is a little more expensive than the one in the showcase not sure why World Heroes more expensive than Mikoya Let's see, another King of Fighters 94 and this one is also scruffy looking. <laughs> uh, but 8400 is a little, a little too much in my opinion when the condition is not that good. First Samurai Spirits, love the spine, the golden spine there. And we have Fatal Fury 2 here and 7200 is definitely a little too expensive in my opinion. Yeah, it should be around 50, there we go, yeah, that's more like it. And some uh, Neo Geo CD games here, of course. Flying power disc, great pong like game. And uh, Savage Rain here, 20 bucks for the Neo Geo CD. Fighter Sister Dynamite, Power Spike, Kabuki Clash, Sonic Wing 3, 85 US dollars. Sonic Wings 2, King of Fighters, and uh, this is interesting. It's actually Samurai Shodan RPG. There were an RPG game with the Samurai Shodan that SNK released. Not for the AES, sadly, but uh, they released it on the new GOCD and also the PS1. So it's just been uh, translated actually to English, so there's a ROM of it somewhere out there on the internet. Samurai Shodan 4, 14 bucks, good price. 9 bucks for uh, Samurai Spirits 3 and uh, 6 dollars for uh, 2. Hope they stay like that for a while. King of Fighters 98, 97 and 96 and 94. Real Bad Special, Fatal Fury Special, and a few Neo Geo Pocket games here. 4000 yen, is that the card game? I believe so. Okay. 
And I'm uh, not sure which game this is. I think it might be Fatal Fury Contact, right? And uh, SNK versus Capcom. One of the better fighting games for the Neo Geo Pocket. And a game that I've never played. Called Fasalai or something like that. Pretty cool artwork. And the last game here. It's a game that I haven't seen before, but it's a pachinko game, so. Yeah. So uh, that's about it for the Neo Geo games that you can get here in Nagoya, in the center of Nagoya at least. Then we have all the hard offs and book offs, of course, where they can show up, but uh, you know, it's not that common. You might, you know, find a game or two at most, five or six, I would say, if you're lucky. But uh, yeah. That's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments what you thought about the prices nowadays for the Neo Geo games. Do you have an AES yourself? Are you still collecting for it? Are you thinking about getting it? You know, now when you've seen the prices. Thanks for watching guys. See you the next time.